Kulion was called the island of the living dead or the island of no return. It was the largest leopard colony in the world. It stands today as a stark reminder of life in the Philippines when leprosy was still an incurable disease and a testament to how leprosy was eradicated not just in the Philippines but in the entire world and how technology and advances in medicine have improved and changed the way we live today. Leon was selected as a containment area of all those with leprosy in the Philippines during the American period. And at that time, leprosy was still an incurable disease. And the only way to stop its spread was to isolate all those afflicted with it. People with leprosy were rounded up like criminals to be sent to the island or certainly to die given that there was no cure and that is why it was called the island of no return. Emily is known that when a leprous member of the family was collected for segregation, that would be the last time they would see him or her. Jeeps brought to Kulyon every three months and by its 25th year, there were 16,138 patients on Kulyon's rooster, making it the largest leper colony in the world. Leprosy, the biblical curse, it has been called the world's oldest recorded disease, an evil for human have known for more than 3,500 years. Leprosy is a damage that has been known since biblical times, often surrounded by terrifying negative stigma and tales of leprosy patients being shunned as outcasts. At one time or another, outbreaks of leprosy have affected and panicked people on every continent. However, leprosy is actually not highly contagious. You can catch it only if you come into close and repeated contact with nose and mouth droplets from someone who has leprosy. Children are more likely to get leprosy than adults. Leprosy is caused by a slow-growing bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae. Leprosy primarily affects the skin and the nerves outside the brain and spinal cord. It may also strike the eyes and the thin tissue lining inside the nose. The main symptom of leprosy is disfiguring skin sores, lumps, and bumps that do not go away after several weeks or months. The skin sores are pale colored. Nerve damage can lead to loss of feeling in the arms and legs and muscle weakness. It takes a very long time for symptoms to appear after coming into contact with the leprosy-causing bacteria. Some people do not develop symptoms until 20 or more years later. Leprosy is characterized according to the numbers and types of skin sores you have. Tuberculoid, which is a mild and less contagious form of leprosy. People with this type have only one or a few patches of flat and pale colored skin. The affected area may feel numb because of nerve damage underneath. Lepromatous, more severe form of disease. It involves widespread skin bumps and rashes, numbing and muscle weakness. The nose and kidneys and male reproductive organs may also be affected. Borderline, people with this type of leprosy have symptoms of both the tuberculoid and lepromatous forms. Year 1873, Dr. Gerard Henrik Arma Ewer Hansen of Norway was the first person to identify the germ that causes leprosy under a microscope. Hansen's discovery of Mycobacterium leprae proved that leprosy was caused by a germ and was not hereditary from a curse or a sin. Early 20th century, until the late 1940s, leprosy doctors all over the world treated patients by injecting them with oil from the Chalmogar knot. Year 1921, U.S. Public Health Service established the Hansen's Disease Center in Carville, Louisiana, which became known as Carville. It became a center of research and testing to find a cure for leprosy and a live-in treatment center for leprosy patients. Year 1941, Promen, or sulfone drug, was introduced. 
It was successfully treated leprosy, but unfortunately, treatment with bromine required many painful injections. Year 1950s, Dobson pills pioneered by Dr. Cochrane at Carville became treatment of choice for leprosy. It worked wonderfully at first, but unfortunately, M. Lepre eventually began developing Dobson resistance. Year 1970s, the first successful multi-drug treatment regimen was developed through drug trials on the island of Malta. Year 1981, the World Health Organization began recommending MDT, a combination of three drugs. The treatment usually takes about six months to a year or even more. Currently, MDT with a combination of three drugs is still the best treatment for preventing nerve damage, deformity, disability, and further transmission. Researchers are working on developing a vaccine and ways to detect leprosy sooner in order to start treatment earlier. Today, more than 200,000 people worldwide are infected with leprosy. According to World Health Organization, most of them in Africa and Asia. About 100 people are diagnosed with leprosy in the United States every year, mostly in the South California, Hawaii, and some U.S. territories. <laughs>